Hi, it's Vicky here with a Christmas card today featuring wow embossing powders. There are lots of giveaways along the way, so make sure to watch the video. For my card today, I will be using these wow embossing powders from their glitter collection, and uh, they are really nice and uh, shiny, which uh, makes them perfect for Christmas cards. I am going to show you some of the colors that I have here. And I will be using two of those uh, embossing powders today for my Christmas card. I am also going to be using one stamp set by Wow Embossing Powders again, which is called Let It Snow. And just to make it more fun, I am having three different giveaways for you today. So I am going to draw three random winners and I have a bunch of those uh, embossing powders just for you. Here they are. So three winners will get two of those embossing powders as well as a stamp from Wow. Make sure to join my blog, read all the details about the giveaway and enter your name. You will find a link to my blog just below the video in the details area. So let's get started with today's card. I am going to be using those two trees from the stamp set, but first I will be using this uh, cardstock and I am going to emboss the whole area. So I am using my Versa marking and I am smooshing it on uh, the paper, making sure that it's nice and wet. And then I will be applying one of those glitter embossing powders. The one that I am using today is called um, Mistletoe Magic. Check how shiny it is. And it is a mix of uh, green and uh, silver glitter embossing powder. And I really prefer using uh, glitter embossing powder instead of just glitter because with uh, the embossing powder, once you melt the powder with your heat gun, it will nicely stick on the cardstock and you don't have uh, glitter going all over the place. And that's also great for the recipient because they get the shine and uh, sparkle without uh, glitter going all over them. Once the embossing powder is melted, you can see that it doesn't go anywhere and I don't have glitter on my hands. Now at the back I am going to stamp the trees and I am stamping them many times. I, at this point I don't uh, actually know how many trees I am going to be needing, so I am just stamping uh, to have enough. I am using my scissors to cut out the trees and I don't really need the lines of those trees, I just need the shapes of them. And uh, here is my cat who decided to show up and say hello. He is always next to me when I craft, but I think he got uh, very interested to those uh, glitter embossing powders. I will be using uh, one of those uh, scalloped edge dies to create a snow bank out of white uh, cardstock and I am going to pass it through my Sizzix machine. So I have this and I am also going to be using this uh, frame to create a panel and uh, make uh, the snow bank the same size as my panel. So now I am going to do some embossing and just because that uh, frame die that I have used adds a nice stitching all around the frame, I don't want to go outside of that stitching and that's why I am using uh, post-it tape to mask it off. Once I have my mask there, I am going to be stamping the snow and uh, the little stars that are on this uh, same uh, stamp set. I will be embossing them with a bright white embossing powder, which is also by WoW.
And I know that you don't probably see anything on this uh, paper, but trust me, I have uh, snow stamped and embossed there with white embossing powder. Now the embossing powder is going to resist the distressing, so it will uh, nicely appear once I apply it with my blending tool. And that is going to be my background. Now you can find the full list of all the supplies that I'm using today for this card just below the video in the details area as well as on my blog. So I am peeling off uh, my post-it uh, tape at uh, the edges and you can see now how I have a nice frame outside of that stitching area. And now it's time to stamp the sentiment. I will be stamping uh, Merry Christmas which is from the same uh, stamp set as everything else. I will be using Versamark to stamp uh, the sentiment and then I will be using uh, the Ho 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 uh, embossing powder by WoW. I really love the name of uh, this embossing powder and uh, you will see that it's absolutely gorgeous, in spark it's sparkling and uh, it's a mix of uh, silver and uh, red. Remember always to use a soft brush if you see that your embossing powder sticks in places that you don't want it to be. So now that I have uh, all my background ready, it's time to assemble my card. And to do so, I will be using some foam tip at the back of this snow bank and stick it on top of uh, my sky. I am uh, trying to decide where uh, all the trees are going to be placed. And once I am happy with my layout, I can go ahead and commit to my foam tip and my tape runner. For my background, I have a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half, and I am going to do some uh, embossing to match it with my main uh, panel. So I will be using the embossing powder that I used for uh, the sentiment, and I will go with my Versamark, smoothing it all over the outside edges. Notice how I've used some uh, post-it notes to protect the back of the card from the embossing powder. So once I have applied my embossing powder, I will go ahead and use my heat gun to melt it. And uh, heat emboss is one of my all-time favorite techniques. I think it was uh, the number one technique that got me into card making. Once I saw uh, embossing powder melting with a heat gun, I think I was hooked for good. And so many years after I have started, I still enjoy uh, watching how the embossing powder melts. And just because I have done lots of embossing on uh, this uh, panel, I am not uh, shy with my foam tape at the back since I want this to sit nicely and uh, leveled on my card. So you can see how the frame all around the card is going to match uh, perfectly with my sentiment. And uh, here is the card for today, nice and sparkling. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here are some close-up photos of the card. Don't forget to visit my blog and join the giveaway. And if you need more inspiration, here are two more cards where I have used WoW embossing powder. Click on any of the videos, or if you are watching from a mobile device, then you can find links to both those videos just below in the description area, or you can click the info button that just popped on your screen. Thank you all for watching!